Hey Christchurch parents, so before we get started today, I just wanted to make sure everyone was aware that Sunday School signups for 2020-21 are live right now at christmethodist.org slash children. For kids six and up, we've invested in a new curriculum called Story Makers that is filled with fun things for the entire family to do at home and, you know, while we're in quarantine, it'll be a really good option. We'll transition back into the classroom with story makers as well. For kids under six, we've got some great other options. We've got Godly Play that we'll be putting out and some other uh, things aimed at younger children. Uh, no matter what, we need you to sign up so we can get you materials, we can be praying for you, and we can just be thinking about your family when we put out our content. Um, so thank you so much and God bless you. All right, let's get started. Yay! Hello, Christchurch kids. It's a good day to be alive. It is a great day to be alive, actually, now that I think about it. I hope you're doing well today. How is your family? You're looking great. So today we're gonna sing the doxology together. This is a song that we sing all of the time in church, um, but you know, kids don't sing it as much. That's silly because kids have great voices. So I look forward to hearing y'all sing along with me. Okay, you ready? Praise God from whom all blessings Slide into Bible time. <laughs> ah, refreshing. All right, now that I've had my tea, let us begin our Bible stories by the fire. Today, guess what we're reading about? The boy Jesus. Ooh, Jesus is a kid. This is going to be fun. All right. It's called The Boy at the Temple. Every year, Jesus' family traveled from their home in Nazareth to Jerusalem to celebrate the festival of Passover. Jesus loved going to the festival. He loved the crowds of people. He loved the noise and bustle of activity. And he loved spending time in the temple. One year when Jesus was 12, the festival began like any other. Joseph, Mary, and Jesus enjoyed the sights, sounds, and activities of the festival together. When the festival was over, Mary and Joseph joined others from Nazareth for the long walk back home. But when the group stopped to camp at the end of the first day, Mary and Joseph could not find Jesus anywhere. Oh no, where'd Jesus be? Everyone thought he had been walking with someone else in the group. Jesus, yelled his parents. Jesus, where are you? Mary and Joseph were frantic. It's a big word. Do you know that word? 
They quickly walked back to Jerusalem looking for him. They searched the city high and low for three whole days until they found Jesus in the temple. Mary and Joseph were surprised at what they saw. Jesus was in the temple talking with teachers more than twice his age. He was just a boy, but he could talk about God with a room full of grown-ups. The teachers in the temple were impressed with what Jesus knew. Mary and Joseph were proud, but they were still a bit angry with Jesus. Jesus, why weren't you with us? We have been looking all over for you, Mary and Joseph exclaimed. Jesus replied, why were you looking for me? Didn't you understand that I was in my father's house? Mary and Joseph didn't understand, but with that, they gathered their belongings and began the long walk back home. I wonder, what do you think Jesus meant when he said, didn't you understand that I would be in my father's house? So why are we going to Uncle Lenny's again? Because that's what we do every Christmas. Our extended family visits Uncle Lenny at Active Acres Retirement Community. Exactly. We always do that. So why do it again this year? It's a tradition. What's a tradition? It's something so special that you do it over and over. How is it special if we've already done it? It's important, Otto. Having dinner with the same boring weirdo relatives is important? Trapped in a loop, living the same Christmas over and over again every year? Yes. Ugh. All right, while Mom and Dad are parking the car, we've got to get these dishes to Uncle Lenny, so... Wait. What? Otto hasn't asked a question or complained for the last 90 seconds. He already wandered off? That was fast. Otto! Otto! Tot is right. We need to find Otto. Let's spread out and search this whole retirement community. Otto? Otto! 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 Fish! No, Tot, not fish. We're looking for Otto. Fishy! Find anything? Well, we found fish so far, but no Otto. We've got to find him. Christmas dinner won't be the same without Otto. We need to- Hey, check out these cool fish. Otto! Otto! Where have you been? Oh, you wouldn't believe it. I went to the TV lounge and met a bunch of people who live here with Uncle Lenny. So you ditched your family to go hang out with people you just met. But Ada, these people are so cool. Captain Kenneth T. Colrain was in the army. And Edith used to give hot air balloon tours of the Grand Canyon. <gasps> Plus, Rodney and Eloise just happened to have rock candy with them. Lots of it. Uh, if they were so cool, why aren't you still hanging out with them? Most of them had to leave. All of them have their own Christmas traditions. Isn't that cool? I thought you didn't like traditions, Otto. Well, I didn't. And I told them that all we ever did was have dinner on Christmas. But Captain Kenneth T. Colrin said I was lucky to have a tradition like that. What's his family going to do? Nothing this year. His family can't make it. So he's just going to hang out in the TV lounge and sigh a lot. Couldn't he have dinner with all of us? Haven't you been listening, Ada? I just learned a valuable lesson. Traditions are important. If he joins us, it won't be the same and we'll have wrecked the tradition. I don't think it will wreck the tradition. It'll just add to it. Really? Yeah. <laughs> That's great. You're going to love them. Are we really allowed to add to the tradition? As long as we cut out the part where we run around for an hour looking for Otto. I don't see why not. Where's Tot? <sighs> I'll go get my jet boots.
right? They were visiting their uncle. Do you remember how Otto felt about traditions at the beginning of the video? Yeah, he didn't seem to be that big of a fan, I don't think. But what about by the end? How did he feel then? And what changed his mind? Yeah, it was hanging out with other people's families and seeing their traditions. What are some traditions that your family celebrates? And what are some new traditions that your family, that you would like your family to try? Have you ever lost something like Otto's family lost him and been really worried that you wouldn't find it? What about, have you ever been lost? Yeah, I hate being lost, don't you? It's the worst. In our Bible story today, Mary and Joseph lost something too. Do you remember what that was? Yeah, Jesus. They couldn't find their son Jesus. Kind of a big deal, huh? Has something like that ever happened to you where your parents didn't know where you were? Oh boy, I bet that was not fun. Jesus was in the temple because he wanted to learn. What are you learning about God? And when Mary and Joseph finally found Jesus, do you remember what Jesus said? That's right. He said, why were you looking for me? Didn't you know that I'd be in my father's house? The father's house should have been the first place that Mary and Joseph looked, right? They should have checked with the father. They should have checked with God. They should have prayed and and had God lead them to Jesus. And I think that's what we should do when we lose something too. We, we need to pray to God, to ask for God's help. So next time you lose something, can you pray to God to help you look, to stay calm, and to help find what you need? All right, I'm holding you to it. All right, Christ Church kids, so our memory verse this week is Luke chapter 2, verse 49. You've heard it a couple times now. It's, why were you looking for me? Didn't you know that I'd be in my father's house? And so our song to go with it this week, we're not using guitar, we're not using piano. All we're using is our hands. So I need you to help me out here. It goes like this. I said, why were you looking for me? Didn't you know that I'd be in my father's house? I said, why were you looking for me? Why were you looking for me? Didn't you know that I'd be in my father's house? I said, why were you looking for me? I said, why were you looking for me? Didn't you know that I'd be in my father's house? I said, why were you? Looking for me. Ah, oh, great job, Christchurch kids. I think that that is just a great reminder that next time we're looking for something, we should check in the Father's house. That's right, we should check with God. Ask God, where did we leave these things? Because God can help us find it. All right. So God bless you and keep you, Christchurch kids. Shine his face upon you and be gracious to you. Go forth to love and to serve, and I'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.